everyone and welcome to Modern Java, a new course that I'm working on in tandem to a new book I'm writing. Many of you learn Java in universities or on your job, but over the past decade, Java completely changed from a verbose, heavy language to a slick, modern, flexible solution. This course assumes you know the basics of Java and builds up from that point. If you don't know Java programming at all, please check out my Java basics videos. But before we continue, a few words about me. I wrote a few books. I worked in this industry for decades in many companies and worked as a consultant. That means I had to go into companies, figure out what's wrong and solve the problem, then overcharge a ridiculous fee. I also worked at Sun Microsystems and Oracle, the companies that created and maintain Java. I built Java virtual machines, flight simulators, embedded systems, cloud solutions, and developer tools. You can contact me over my socials listed here and follow me on Mastodome, LinkedIn, etc. You can also use the comment section here. I'll try to help. This is my APRIS book titled Practical Debugging at Scale. I also have a course with that name. You can pre-order it now. I also have a Java book coming out, but it's further away. Follow my blog for updates on that. Let's review the curriculum for the course and discuss the subjects we will cover. Since new things will come about, I decided that lessons within this course won't be numbered. This will let me add lessons as we move forward based on new features. We first need to have a solid baseline. And a lot of developers haven't worked with Java 8 features yet. In this part, we'll try to align our knowledge and understanding of that release. Next, we will discuss new features related to the JVM in newer versions of Java. The recent versions of Java included quite a few new language features. We'll also discuss the significant new APIs introduced in these versions. We'll also cover GraalVM, which is a new JVM implementation with interesting capabilities. The two big ones are polyglot programming. That means you can use it to mix Java, Python, Ruby, and JavaScript. But the big feature is native image support. That means you can create efficient, standalone, native executables. Threading changed a lot in recent versions of Java. We'll discuss Project Loom and various new APIs for managing threads. I'll also delve a bit deeper into some of the concurrency nuances. Java is cool as a language, but the true power of Java is with a framework for building microservices, monoliths, or web applications. In this module, I'll go deep into the leading framework for Java, Spring Boot. If there's demand for it, I might also do a model on microprofile. Micro testing and CI are crucial for building a proper application. I will focus on GitHub Actions for the CI portion. Finally, we'll discuss deployment with Docker and Kubernetes. We'll discuss both containers and the complexities related to that and the Java-specific nuances. In the past, it was very difficult to work with the latest version of Java. Getting all of our machines to the latest version was a difficult task. Thanks to Docker packaging, the latest version of Java as part of our application became trivial. We can move with the times and should use these amazing tools. In the next video, we'll start talking about the features of Java 8 to align with the baseline. Follow through the videos to check out the full course. If you have any questions, please use the comment section. Thank you.